Roads and Boats is a logistical game for two to four players, one to four players. It takes a few hours to play. The game board can be set up from a scenario such as this one, or from a or using a map creating rules. Each player starts with one home tile, one stone, five boards, two geese, and three donkeys. They place these starting resources on a square of their choice on the board. From there they will begin their logistical journey. Primary buildings produce a resource of their type. Secondary buildings require an input resource and output. More resources uh, that they specify. Livestock, if left alone in a pasture, if a pair is left alone in a pasture, will produce a third livestock. Roads can be built from one space to the next and bridges can be used to cross rivers. To get goods places, you will both need roads and transportation. From the simplest transportation such as donkeys, to more complicated transportation such as boats, trucks, and even steamers. This transportation will move, the, will move around the map, changing resources around. This is done during the movement phase, where everything can move a number of spaces allotted. Usually they need roads to move. In the building phase, take resources from which you have transportation and can build certain types of buildings. Such as in a forest, you could build a woodcutter. Then comes the wonders phase. Each player can contribute a good on their starting tile and can add one or more bricks to the wonder, with more bricks being more and more expensive. After each player has contributed, a neutral brick is added. When the wonder reaches a certain point, the game will end, or when all of the neutral bricks are out. Well, we are sitting here with Roads and Boats. We have decided to uh, call it a draw after a early game because we did not have enough time to finish. And, you know, it's a longer game. So this is the main board. It's covered with a sheet of plastic acrylic because we're drawing little roads on the board. That's my father's road. And that's my road. And this is my father. Hello, father. Hello. Hello. How are you? We are good. So, the way this game works is this is a logistical game. It's all about transporting different goods to upgrade them into new goods and build more buildings to, that build more goods. And it's interesting. It seems really pretty straightforward at first, but then you get, then it gets more and more logistical as the game goes on. Another feature is that there's this wonder right here. And as you can see, we're really early on the game. When the game reaches that two people symbol there, the game is over. And we were only this far. That's okay, because we got to learn a good bit about the game and, and how it kind of functions. Would you like to explain the geese? Okay. There are geese right here, and geese are good for two things. One, they're good for contributing to wonder building. Somehow they can be converted into bricks. And the other thing is that two geese and a sheet of paper make research. I guess because the quills from the geese feather and make a couple of pens for you to write some research out. That's that that's my guess. What do you think of, what do you think is the metaphysical understanding of geese and paper? Well that, that makes sense um, to me. I think it's interesting that the geese are so private, they won't reproduce. Um, if there's anything else close to them, they have to be by themselves out in the plains. Right, so these a couple of geese will reproduce, but if there was a donkey next to them, they'd feel uncomfortable and wouldn't reproduce. They even feel uncomfortable if there's another goose. Or even another, or, or a log or something there. Yeah, yeah. 
what other things are notable about this game that I haven't mentioned? I guess it's mentioned that it is a complex game. Its rules are, are kind of straightforward, mostly. It's just the um, thing amount of, of um, types of things you can do. Like, each turn you produce goods, but you produce a lot of different goods. You move things, but you move a lot of different things. And then you build stuff, and you can build a lot of different things. And you can all go at the same time, so... Yeah, it's really... If you knew what you were doing, the game could move along really quickly. Yeah, it's really nice that this game does move on. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. It's a very pretty game. It has a lot of nice components, and there really isn't much else to say right now, because we only played a very short game of it. So I'm just going to head out, and uh, thanks to my dad for tolerating me while recording this. Have a good one.